Okay, once again, good morning and welcome back to our channel. No? So, I am happy to share to you a new content of my channel. No? So, this time we will be discussing on integral calculus. So, first I have to present the basic integration formulas. No? So, we have actually five formulas here. So, we have this numbered as I1, I2, I3, I4, and I5. No? So, dali, dali kay memorization. No? Bilo, I1, I2, I3, I4. I5 beta. What is content in what is contained in I1, no? So we have the integral of a DU, no? So D and the integral uh, operation here are actually two inverse operation. So it will give you U plus C. Okay? So neutralize ang two operation. So what is left is only U and that is equal to U plus C. Okay? So, the kind of integral here is what is termed as the indefinite integral. Now, so you can say when it is an indefinite integral, so there is always a constant of integration which will appear in your final answer. So, if ang atong formula number 2, if the integral have several terms, no? if we have several terms involved, then you can take the integral of every function. Okay? So, with respect or with the variable of integration, which is x. And number three, if it is involving a constant factor a, no, then we can put our a before the integral sign, then we can have the integral of u dx. No? So, that means you are not going to include the constant factor no? So in the integration process. So, just like with our differential calculus, i4 applies a power rule. No? So, we have u to power n du. So, the formula can be applied if there is u and an exact du. So, we can increase the power of our u by 1 and we divide by the same uh, value, n plus 1. No? Then, c is added no? when we are done with the integration. But, this rule no? has an exception. No? So, because the power of your u can be any number except for a value which is minus 1. No? Because, if it is equal to minus 1 exactly as u to power minus n du, then it will also take a form of a du over u which is covered under I5. And that is equal to the uh, ln of u plus c. No? So this is a logarithmic formula. No? So if your n is equal to minus 1, so in I4, so this is the one that we are going to use. No? Now, u and v are differentiable functions in a variable of integration, say x on this case. No? So, e and n are constants. The du means it is an exact differential of u. Now, if we have functions in a simple form, no? like functions express and powers of x, or x raised to a power, then i1, i4, and I5 can be, mo can be modified by just replacing our U with X. Okay, so I1 becomes the integral of dx and that's equal to X plus C. The I4 becomes the integral of X to power N dx and that's equal to, so there is a little error here now, wala ko change ang U. This is actually, uh, this is actually X raised to power and then N plus 1. Na? Then I5 is equal to, and then, uh, the integral of dx over x which is equal to l in x plus c. Okay? I may change, no? So, we have this one, no? So, doon na error ini gamay. Atong ibalik, no? So, I'm changing my u to x, no? Because we let our u be equal to x. Okay? Okay, so let's proceed. Nah. Okay, so it is there where we stop. Nah. So if we are given the following examples nah, and we are asked to evaluate the integrals. Okay, so we have the integral of 4 times the cube root of x as our integral. Nah. And we have to integrate that with the variable x as a variable of integration. Now, first, we have to look on the nature of function involved in our integrand. Okay? 
So the nature of this involves a product of a constant and a function x involving x. So this is covered basically under I3. And since there is no role involving radical, so I can convert the radical or rational function to contain a fractional power. Okay, so in order to use a power rule of integration. So the given is actually the same as 4 times the integral of x to power 1 third dx. And according to the power rule of integration, so we can simply increase the exponent of 1 third by 1. So that becomes 4 third and it's divided by n plus 1 which is actually covered in I4. Okay? So it is 4 over 3 plus c. Okay, we can simplify because we are dividing 4 with 4 third, so it is just the same as 4 times 3 fourth. No? So, we can remove 4, and what is left is 3 times x raised to power 4 third plus c, which can also be the same if you write that in terms of a radical form. No? So, this is the equivalent. We have 3 cube root of x raised to the 4th power plus c as answer. Okay, so covering the same rule, and again, so I'm not going to put any more the correction. Eh? This is actually x to power z n plus 1 no? for I4. So we will be using the same formula below. And my given is like this. If we have integral expressed and factored form, then there is no role in the basic role of integration involving functions in a factored form. So what we're going to do here is to obtain the product of the two binomial factor. So, if we multiply, there I arrive with this as my product. Okay? And I can proceed with I2, which is the sum rule of integration. That means I have to do the integration in every term. No? Okay. So, when the integration is made, no? so we can increase the power by 1 according to power rule. This is covered under I number 1. We can also Put the constant factor before the integral sign. No? So we have 6 integral of x squared. So we have minus 17 integral of x dx. So plus 5 integral of dx. So by corresponding rule, I can increase. That becomes cubed. So this becomes 6 divided by 3. That is minus 17. That's over 2 because I'm increasing the power of x by 1. So that is x squared over 2 plus 5x plus c. And then we obtain an answer which is this one, 2x cubed minus 17 over 2x squared plus 5x plus c as the answer. Now, number 3 is written as this. No? Now, if you are given a problem like this, so the numerator side here of your integrand is expressed to contain a power 3. Now, it does not follow exactly the standard integration formula, so we need to modify, transform this into an integrable form. Then I can expand my numerator now because it's containing a power of 3. So to expand, I may be guided with this formula. So binomial cube. No? So this is my pattern. Cube of my first term minus 3a squared or square of my first term multiplied with the second term. No? Plus, so it should be an alternating sign. So plus, minus, then plus, then minus. No? Okay, plus. Okay, here is the pattern. No? Atong i-apply with our given. My numerator as expanded. My a or my first term is the cube root of x. And then minus 3. Again, cube root of x. That is in square. And my second term is 5. Okay, so times 5 for my b. Correct? Then plus 3, which is this one. Then A, copy my first term and take the square of my second term, which is 5 squared minus 5 cubed. Okay? As a result, this is equal to X, correct? This is 15, 5 times 3, X to power 2 third plus 75 X to power 1 third. That is 25 times 3. That's why I have 75. The cube of 5 is 1 to 5. And that is all divided by X to power 2 third. Now, in order to follow the sum rule, so I can modify by dividing every term by x to power 2 third. Okay, so as a result, using your law of exponents, so these are the terms. x to power 1, 
divided with x to power 2 thirds. So, I can have x with a power which is 1 minus 2 thirds. The result is 1 third. The second term is becoming constant because the variable, the literal coefficient of that is exactly the same as your divisor. Plus, okay, 75 x to power minus 1 third. That is the difference of 1 third minus 2 third. Minus 1 to 5, this is containing a variable denominator. I take the reciprocal of which to have my x to contain a power. And my new power is minus 2 third when the reciprocal is taken using your law of exponents. And we can also relate with the sum rule. No? Of integration, we can put the constant factor outside if in a. So, pwede na nato ma-apply. No? So, you can have this be written. And I can go to the next slide. There I have this as my resulting expression. And I can proceed with the integral of every term. Just increase the power by 1. It becomes 4 third. It's divided with 4 third. This is 15 and you have x for the integral of dx. So plus 75 x to power. So it becomes 2 third because I have minus 1 third plus 1 divided by Okay, so the same power, 2 third. So minus 1 to 5 increased by 1. So I have x to power 1 third over 1 third. And I can write it. Maybe I can express in terms of radical form. No? The denominator of your fra uh, fractional power will serve as the index of your radical. The numerator will serve as the integer power. Okay, so 3 fourth. Take the reciprocal of this. 3 fourth then times the cube root of x raised to the fourth power minus 15x that is actually 75 times 3 over 2 so that's why i have 1 to 5 over uh, no 2 to 5 over 2 then that is the cube root of x which is in square this is 1 to 5 times 3 375 then cube root of x plus c as our answer so actually, I am using the same formula, and again, this is corrected. Ganina, this is actually x to power in plus one in I four. No? Okay, so there is a little error there. Now it's already corrected before we start the discussion. Okay, so if in the next problem, no, we are required to solve this, no. What do you think is the possible difficulty that we can encounter? While we can solve this in a similar manner as what we did ganina, expanding this binomial when it is raised to power 7, you will be expecting our integrand to contain how many terms? E terms as we expand. And that is not easy for us to do. While the previous approach may still work for that kind of problem, but this time the problem requires us to explore on other possible technique of solving, which can be seen in the next presentation. No? So, on the next presentation, I will be discussing on how to solve this without really expanding our integrand. No? So, see you there in the next presentation. Now, for those who are new in our channel, no? I am inviting you to subscribe and maybe share this to your friends to your friends. So possibly siguro nga, by sharing them by sharing this to them, no? So you might also be helping those who may be interested no? with our topic being discussed. Okay, so thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.